Hi, this is Rabbi Mark Angel, the director of the Institute for Jewish Ideas and Ideals. Our website is jewishideas.org. Uh, we take questions from our uh, many followers and readers, and we received a very interesting question. The question is, is it forbidden to read books or watch films about cultures which show pictures of men and women in traditional dress that Jewish standards would not consider to be fully clothed. In other words, let's say someone wants to study uh, tribes from parts of Africa or Aborigines or people living in the tropics, etc., whose uh, style of clothing is certainly not up to our standards. Uh, we would consider them to be naked or half naked uh, according to uh, our values. So is it permissible to study those societies, to read books about them, to uh, actually become an anthropologist and, and go to those communities and see what they're all about? At first blush, it would seem, uh, blush, at its first blush, it would seem uh, it's forbidden. Uh, why? Because Jewish tradition stresses sinyut, modesty, proper dress. In fact, we're going to be reading uh, the parasha Kedoshim fairly soon, and Rashi's comment right away is that Kedoshim, to be a holy person, entails a separation from illicit sexual behavior and thought. And therefore, it would seem clear that looking at people who are not properly clothed, who have parts of their body uncovered that should really be covered according to halacha, uh, this would be something that would be considered forbidden, and the story should cl be closed right there. However, I'm not going to stop there. Uh, when we are human beings, we want to study about all civilizations, to know more about humanity in general. And part of humanity is the existence of many tribes, many cultures, which don't conform to Jewish standards of morality and Jewish standards of dress. And there's a good impetus on the part of many people who have intellectual curiosity to find uh, ways of studying those people, understanding what makes them tick, what makes them work, what is the basic philosophy of their lives, and what we can learn from them as fellow human beings. Um, and therefore, I think, uh, instead of just ruling it out that one should not study these societies and one should not read books about them or look p at pictures of them, I think that the question really would have to depend on the particular individual involved. If a person uh, studies uh, these groups with prurient interests and is trying to uh, cover up other interests, uh, sexually motivated interests, by pretending to be studying anthropology or studying another culture, then this is obviously something that's forbidden not appropriate and something a religious person should not want to do. But if a person genuinely is interested in that culture and interested in trying to find out more about them and has no sexual uh, harem, no, no thoughts, no negative thoughts, no uh, erotic thoughts that come out of this, then it would be the same thing, the half deal, as if one were a zoologist studying animals. Animals also don't wear clothes and we don't forbid people from looking at animals. And uh, even though these are these tribes are human beings, nonetheless, if we look at them in an objective way as though they're not really a part of us and we're not interested in entering any any relationships with them other than uh, intellectual relationships, then it seems to me that if a person really has that kind of control, then it's fine. Um, one should study, one should be free to study whatever one needs to study. Uh, when people go to medical school, we don't say that they could only, men could only, men doctors could only deal with men patients or women doctors could only deal with women patients, although that's obviously preferable in many cases. But we understand that when a doctor is acting as a doctor, they're not looking at their patient as an object of sexual uh, being from the other gender. They're looking at a person as an organism that needs to be cured. And therefore, the, uh, the Talmud, of course, for, permits uh, people to become doctors. Therefore, the long and the short of it is this. If a person feels that this is important to their own spiritual and intellectual welfare to study these cultures, study them. But if a person finds that studying these cultures leads to erotic thoughts or leads to in, in, inappropriate thoughts, then a person should immediately stop doing that. Mostly, a person should not deceive himself or herself. A person should go into this thing very honestly and very clearly, understanding that if this crosses some kind of a personal line, in terms of their own morality, their own feelings, they should stop that immediately. Uh, we hope this has been of interest to you. We have many more questions online. We'll be asked, answering in the coming days and weeks. Uh, please visit our website, jewishideas.org, to learn more about the Institute, which stands for an intellectually vibrant, compassionate, and inclusive Orthodox Judaism. All the best to all of you.
שלום, שלום, שלום.